All right here with sophomore tight end, uh, sorry, freshman tight end Caleb Lutton and senior um, running back Colin Marcus. Colin, first off, uh, 172 yards rushing, just real obviously, you know, got the ball rolling for the offense today. Um, just welcome back on senior day and just talk about what it was nice to get back on the field on here oh, today. It was awesome to get back on the field. The, uh, the old line did a great job today, clearing up holes for me to run through. Um, tight ends, everyone just did a great job. It was all over team win. Uh, Caleb, three catches, three touchdowns. It's, I think you only catch touchdowns. It's kind of, um, just talk about your season overall and you being able to contribute, and especially in the red zone this year. I'm just glad I could help this team win. You know, we work hard in practice, and it carry, carries over to the game. Uh, talk about that first catch, one hand in the back of the end zone. Yeah. Just what, what was that play? And just talk about I mean, what a great catch. Uh, I just had to catch it and keep my feet in. That's all. Uh, Colin, you're a senior. What do you think of this guy as a freshman? He's a playmaker. Henny 10's got a lot to worry about coming through. Uh, Colin, obviously, you know, you know, string two wins in a row here. I talk about wanting to finish strong this year. Um, you know, I, you know, started with four wins. I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys want to finish with four wins. Oh yeah, definitely want to finish. Those three, those three losses put a, a bad memory in our head. So it's just lights out from here on out. Um, assumption next week. Um, Sort of, a, sort of a rivalry game with them. Obviously, you know what, what they've done this year. Just how big next week for you, for them? Huge game, huge game. They're number one in the conference. We'd like to uh, give them another loss. All right. Well, congratulations, guys, on uh, the win today, and uh, good luck next week. Thank you. All right, head coach Rob Talley, 35-24, went over St. Anselm. Um, scored on every possession, all four possessions of the first half. Obviously, that really set the tone for you guys, and you know, it made me a little bit interested in the end, but. You know, we guys really had control from the start. Yeah, I've never, I don't know, it's been a long time. This probably since my first year here playing against St. A's. Um, and we've had a half where we controlled it that much. Um, you know, we're scoring on every drive and, and long drives as well. I mean, one of those drives is a 15-yard drive. So we are able offensively, you know, to me it started really at the quarterback and making the right decisions. Um, having Colin Marcus back was huge for us. Um, and and him, him being able to contribute on the ground, um, you know, was a, was a big part of it. But the O-line did a great job up front. And, you know, we felt we had a chance to run the ball on them. Um, I, I didn't think we would have as much success as we had, but um, it was great to see in the first half. Yeah, I mean, Colin finished his first game back 172 yards. Didn't find the end zone, but certainly, you know, was a big factor in you guys, you know, your, your score today. Yeah, well, it just shows. I mean, um, the, the dimension he gives us, um, you know, as a player, being able to um, being able to come back and, you know, he's still not 100%, so, but I think, you know, next week we're, hope, we're hoping to get him to 100%, and, um, you know, we'll need him, you know, facing such a good team next week. Uh, your freshman tight end, Caleb Lott, and three catches, three touchdowns. I mean, just what a weapon you guys have in the, end zone, in the yeah, red zone. Yeah, I mean, he's one of those kids that's, you know, he can, he can run he can run like a receiver, and he has, a, you know, obviously the size of a tight end, so, and he has great hands. So um, we're able to get him on, on, on matchups, and, you know, Matt loves throwing him the football, so um, it, winds, it winds up being a really good connection for us. And how much you might have seen live but that first catch one hand in the back of the end zone oh, it was ridiculous I was, I was like okay he's wide open man and then it was like I'm like okay we overthrew him then he just snares it but i mean just he's he's gonna be a really good player for us um steve griswax that's the all-time scoring record um you know kind of being a four-year guy for you guys kicking just talk about that breaking that record well i, I think it's you know it's really um really big you know, and I'm really happy for him. I mean, he's just, he's, you know, he's worked his butt off. Um, he comes out every day at practice, and, you know, sometimes kickers can get can get lost in the shuffle, but he doesn't get lost in the shuffle. He, he wants to get involved, and he'll do whatever we want him to do. And, you know, for him to be able to do that, I think it's quite an accomplishment. You know, anytime you can put your name in the record books as, as number one in a positive way, I think that's huge. So I'm just really happy for him and his family. You know, um, he definitely deserves it. Uh, defense second, I mean, is this a case of them just shifting up and going, catching you guys on, on the hurry up? Or no, it's just big plays, you know. And that's when we've gotten hurt defensively, it's because we get we give up big plays, you know. It's that's the big thing. So we just can't, you know. We'll look back on it, and it's you know, it's always a, you know, generally it's a breakdown of one or two people. And um, as I was saying, as I was telling the team too, is you could, that's when you can tell we're a young team. You know, when we make those mistakes where we're not. 
as experienced as we need to be where, you know, if you had a senior laden team starting all over the place, you, you hope that those guys have been through it so they're not making those mistakes. Uh, your sophomore safety, Nick Bona, he was a big special teams guy for you last year, this year as a safety. Just talk about his his game, 10 tackles, and, you know, his year for you guys. Oh, he continues to get better, you know, and, and he's one of those guys that we almost have had to back him off throughout his career because <laughs> he just wants to hit anything that moves. <laughs> um, and so once he, you know, he continues to get himself, basically himself under control a little bit more, but he's, he's in the right direction. He's, you know, he's a short tackler, and, you know, we're really happy with his development. Um, I know you love the Bronze Hawk, but I know, but you love winning it more. Just talk about, you know, these guys, seniors, senior day, finish up today with a win. Well, and to me, you know, and um, my defensive coordinator, Coach Garner, um, gave me a great reason to love the Bronze Hawk <laughs> because when you have it, it means you win. So um, that's that's the biggest thing we look for is, is that, hey, we won the thing at the end of the day. And, you know, um, that thing's never left my office. And <laughs> we're going to keep on working to, to make sure it stays there. All right, congratulations on the win, and uh, we'll talk to you this week. Oh, thank you.